welcome to Lahore. Now run for your life. Carnage and chaos on a grand scale. Even school kids no longer immune in Pakistan's second city. You usually see such clouds over Baghdad, not the Punjab. The biggest of the suspected suicide blasts hit the Federal Investigation Agency. Its employees are engaged in counter-terrorism work. Today, they were on the receiving end. Such was the scale of the blast that it ripped chunks out of the building, reducing some of it to rubble. Some of the wounded were trapped under the debris, but it was less a rescue than a recovery operation. There are many dead in the blast. One of our security guards was killed when debris fell on his head. Then there was a second explosion. I think it was a suicide blast. I saw a severed head lying on the ground. Here the tiny body of a child is wheeled away. For some, it's all too much. Lahore's residents are stunned and angry. Carnage of this sort usually occurs in Pakistan's tribal areas, not its big cities. A smaller blast occurred at the offices of an advertising agency in a residential area. The target as yet unclear but an office of the assassinated opposition leader, Benazir Bhutto, is situated nearby. Just hours later, another blow. The Australian cricket team announced it was cancelling a forthcoming tour of Pakistan on security grounds. For us, uh, the safety and security of uh, our employees must come first, and we've been left with no alternative but to arrive at this position. Today's attacks and political fallout underline the stark security challenge facing Bhutto's widower, Asif Ali Zadari, now poised to form a coalition government with opposition leader Nawaz Sharif. And as they tend to the wounded, old and young, in Lahore's hospitals, the city's shell-shocked residents are clamouring for bold and decisive action to restore calm to these previously peaceful streets.